What is up YouTube? It's Ghost here again with another build tutorial video for you. And in this video, we are going to be learning how to create a domed roof with a couple of extra details added to it. So I get asked quite often about my domed roofs and how I've created them. So the wait is finally over. Here it is, how to build a domed roof. So to begin, you're going to need to create a circular ring around your build. And to do that, we're going to use two meter beams with one rotation after each snap point. I would highly suggest building this on the floor first to make sure that it's going to fit. If it doesn't, you can move down to the octagon, which would be two rotations after each beam snap point. After we've created the entire ring, we're going to switch over to the roofs. So I start with 45s and I go all the way around with 45 snapping them to each beam. I'll then move to 26 degrees on the second ring and this happens to be my favorite shape for domes. So now I'm moving to 26 degree roofs and I'm snapping them to the top of the 45s. I'm using the lines between each board as a reference to make sure that my snap points are correct. And after we've got all the way around, we're going to have a hole in the middle. And to fill that, we're going to switch over to a floor panel and just snap it into the center. After we've snapped this in the center, we've created the basic dome. And from here on out, I'm going to show you a few details that I like to add to each one of my builds, especially domes. The first detail I'm going to go through with you is an eaves trough and to do that I laminate a beam to the front side of the ring that we created and I'm making sure to line them up to the beam behind it, leaving gaps in between them. After I've got all the way around, I'll fill in these gaps with 1 meter beams rotated so that they mesh into the beam beside it. Here I'm using a 1 meter beam snapped to the end of a 2 meter beam and rotated to mesh into the beam behind it. You could just snap the 2 meter beams to each other and rotate them but what happens is after 3 beams they start to mesh into the original ring and they don't look very good. You'll have to correct the circle. With this method you have a lot more snap points but it creates a nicer circle at the end of the day. This is another detail that I like to add to my domes. So you have to match the degree of the beam that you're placing with the degree of the roofs that you placed and keep them in order. So because I started with 45 degree roofs, I'm starting with 45 degree beams. And I'm holding shift and snapping them halfway between the snap points on the eaves trough ring. And the reason for this is if you use the snap points, the beams would be off, the angle, that you use to rotate them to follow the dome isn't going to follow the dome. You actually have to snap them in between snap points. So here again, 45 degree beams because I used 45 degree roofs on the first layer. And then I'm switching to 26s and snapping them to the end of the 45 degree beams. And this creates kind of a rib cage that encompasses the dome. You can also create spires on the top of the dome. There's many ways to do it, but this is one easy trick that I like to do, is I will create an octagon using one meter beams at the very top. And to line up the first one, I hold shift. I place it where I think roughly the edge of the circle will start. And I just go around by two rotations on each beam. And then I'll add a layer on top of that. So I'll hold shift and I'll place it on top of one of the first beams and again two rotations all the way around until I've created a complete octagon. This creates a nice circular base for the spire and in the next step we'll create the actual spire.
Moving on with the spire, I'm going to create a secondary base using one meter beams. And this is just to get it above the circular base that we just created. So I'm just creating a rough square while holding shift and placing the beams. And I'm going to do a few layers until it's just above the ring that we created. I'm going to use two meter posts and I'm holding shift to be able to place them correctly. And this is all eyeball. I'm trying to get an even gap all the way around each of the four posts. And then I'm going to use a one meter by one meter floor panel to create a platform for an additional layer for the spire. And for that I'm using one meter posts. And then I use another floor panel and then a one meter post in the center. And that's how you create the spire. And that's it guys, that's how you create a dome with some custom details. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you get notifications every time I post. If you're interested in some other places I post, you can check out my Reddit, you can add yourself to my Discord. The links for those are in the bottom right corner of the banner at the top of this channel. Just follow the little yellow arrow.